Hey folks, today we have a beer from Crooked Stave. It's been a while since I've had a Crooked Stave beer, <clears throat> and almost all the ones that I've had have been some sort of like mixed culture sort of thing. And then I was at the one liquor store that I like to go to, that I find cool things at, and uh, I found this Keller Pilsner from Crooked Stave. It is their Von Pilsner. It's a Keller Pilsner, as I said. It is 5% alcohol by volume. It was canned on 9-21-23. It is February 20th, which means it is <clears throat> uh, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. That's five months, so five months. Yes. For some reason, I was I had it in my head that it was it, there was like years on this, so I was like I was gonna say like two years and five months, but uh yeah, I like this label too. I like the colors and I like the contrast between the lettering and the uh, and the uh, and the background. So so yeah. Also, I had to get it because. Every Crooked Stave beer, especially the bottled ones, are, like, kind of expensive. Not, like, expensive, expensive, but, like, um, whatever. But this was, like, 13 or $14 for a six-pack. I'm okay with it. Yeah, that looks like... It kind of doesn't look like a Pilsner. Um, Y'all know I have a bad memory, so I honestly couldn't tell you what a Kel Keller Pilsner is supposed to look like. But this this looks like it's got a little bit of a hazy thing, so it kind of looks it kind of looks like a um, it looks like like uh, kind of like a slightly hazy saison or maybe like a pale ale or something like that. But yeah. It looks good. That's like half a finger. White head. And yeah. Looks good. Let's see what it smells like. I wonder if their uh, Keller Pilsner has some sort of mixed culture aspect to it. Because there is a little bit of like a kind of like a citrusy uh kind of farmhousey kind of thing going on it could just be dry hot maybe possibly but yeah uh yeah all i'm really getting is like some citrusy kind of stuff so let's just get into it cheers Yeah, I think it's I think it's dry hopped or something. Yeah. What is that? There's citrus, but there is grapefruit maybe. There's like a very specific kind of citrus thing that is going on in here and it's like zest it's like a citrus zest and i want to say it's grapefruit but i also want to say i think it is grapefruit it's either grapefruit or it's like some weird something like a tangelo is citrus i feel like it's it's grapefruit or some like weird citrus thing um there is a subtle maltiness it's not <clears throat> it's not super crispy I don't remember if Keller Pilsners are supposed to be crispy but
Yeah. This is good. I like this. Um, It dries out a little bit in the finish. Like, the thing, the thing that is uh, intriguing me is that this is kind of on the like I think it is just dry hopped. I think maybe I don't know. It is crooked stage, so I don't know. Um, but there is it's it's right on the edge of this could be a dry hopped Keller Pilsner, or this is some sort of like subtle subtly mixed culture kind of thing because there is there is that vibe in this and i don't i don't know all i know is that it tastes good so and i have a six pack of it so uh Yeah. The way that citrus thing comes across, I want to say it's something else. Maybe like stone. There's like a twinge of either like stone fruit or like tropical thing in there. Or it's just a weird citrus. I don't know. But I'm not going to ramble on for 20 minutes trying to figure it out. So if you can find this, I would I would definitely recommend it. Or if you've had this and uh, you know whether or not it's, there's a, uh, is it just dry hopped? Is it, is there some sort of like mixed culture thing going on in this? Maybe I'll look it up afterwards. Yeah, I really like this. I like this label. It's doing, it's doing something for me. But yeah, so uh, thanks for hanging out. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for hanging out. I drew blank. Whatever. Like the video. Subscribe. You know. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. That's that's what's important. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.